Hello, it's been a while since the video, I'm very well aware, but we are going to be going outside, or we are outside. We just got back from uh, Bofa, we just went to Bofa, and now we went to Goodwill. Can you see the sign there, kind of? And we got a little surprise in the trunk. But now we're going shopping at Walmart because uh, we're going on a little picnic tomorrow. But I'll show, you, I'll show you the thing in the trunk later. Ignore the beeping in the background as well. Oh, it just stopped for right <laughs> when I said that, of course. This is the thing we got. It's a TV. I don't know if you can really tell with the glare, but it was $40. And I believe this is a 40-inch TV. Although there's no base and no remote. I'm not sure if it has speakers, so we might have to get some more stuff for it. But I think it's a pretty good deal. I think the retail value was like two over $200. And I had to put all the food from Walmart in the trunk. Or I couldn't put it in the trunk. I had to put it on the back seat because the trunk is filled with the TV. Now, here's my cart arcs impression. Boop, boop, skid, boop, 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 boop. That's not where the cart goes, ma'am. What are you doing? Anyways, okay, we're, we're going home. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow when we're like cooking or whatever. Hello. Oh, do you like my penguins, by the way? There's the TV now. Um, as you can see, there's no like base stand thing for it. And there's also no remote either, but I just went on Amazon and I ordered both of those. I think the universal Samsung remote was like $11 and the base stand thing was like $25, so not bad. I've never really like had a TV in my life. Like when I was in middle school, like in 2007, we had a TV, but it was like one of those like really deep TVs. If you know what I'm talking about, like it wasn't flat screen like they all are today. This is back in 2007. I didn't really ever have cable TV in my house growing up either. Like I remember uh, with the TV, there were like the public TV stations and I remember the antennas on top of the TV, I would have to like adjust them so that the TV wouldn't just be all staticky. But I pretty much just used the TV for um, playing like GameCube and Wii when I was a kid. So it's cool. It's my first time like ever getting my own TV, which I probably won't really even be using that much since I just use the computer for everything. But I have friends coming into town from March 10th through March 15th and we'll probably end up like watching movies or playing games on it. And it's just good to have. I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna last a long time. I mean, the TV uh, is from February 2015 is what it said on the back. So I'm sure it's gonna last a lot longer. Let's get cooking. That tofu looks like either cottage cheese or popcorn from like far away in the light like that. It's so colorful. It reminds me of like an aquarium for some reason or just like <laughs> really moldy cheese. Yum. And the potatoes are going into the oven. Okay, which one are we going with? The farfalle or the Pene rigate. I think it's like Spanish or something. You want the pene? Yeah. All right. I've never pressure cooked pasta before, but it looks like you just put like a little bit of water in. This seems really weird. Like there's not enough water, but that's how we're supposed to do it. Pressure cook it for two minutes and then like magic, it should become actual pasta. Hopefully. Next, we're gonna make a spinach artichoke hummus, but we're gonna use black beans instead of chickpeas because we didn't really have any chickpeas prepped beforehand. What am I doing? I'm a monster. You wanna try some? No. <laughs> Here we go, spinach artichoke black bean hummus dip thing. And then we're uh, releasing the pressure on the the pasta and we'll see how this turns out. Moment of truth. How is it? Oh yeah, it seems uh it seems like pasta. Nice. I love the instant pot. Like it just absorbs all the water so you don't have to like drain it or anything. Although I might have used slightly too much because there's like a little tiny bit of like extra liquid, but it doesn't seem too bad. Maybe it'll just evaporate and we're just gonna like stuff to it. I got these olives here. Does that mean that the liquid inside of here would be olive oil? And the final thing for the potatoes after they come out the oven is going to be a little bit of lemon juice. It's hard to pour and like look at the camera at the same time. <laughs> the weather is just beautiful outside. We got this nice delicious spread that we're about to enjoy. Let me just clear out my pockets. I'm gonna set my Ridge wallet on top of my Ridge backpack so it stays nice and safe over there. Okay, here's a better view so you can like see all the food better that we made. 
Yeah. I start recording. All right. First try, tray flip. <laughs> all right we made all gone except not really but um it's getting a little bit dark but there's these ledges up there that i skated a lot when i was like in high school and i want to skate them but there's like people sitting right there so I'm kind of awkward so I'll probably just like walk around the park for a bit and then when that's empty i want to go skate there and do some sick tricks off the ledge okay here's the ledge that I'm going to try doing some tricks off of. I'll have uh, my filmer record me. <laughs> That's what girlfriends are for, right? They're called your filmer. Hey! Hey! Jump. I just really can't do that in these shoes. No, you can do it. <laughs> no. Do a front flip. No. Okay, do a front flip where like you go all the way like in a big loop over the swing. Okay. I wonder if anyone's ever done that before. There's gotta be like some kid in existence. I remember when I was like a little kid, I was like, what if I go too high? Or like, what if you push me too high and I end up like flipping all the way over? <laughs> Never happened though. My legs feel like jelly right now, but. This thing was like my favorite thing on the playground as a kid. I don't know if they have these like all over the country or world or what. This. Whoa! <laughs> and because it's like at recess, then like all the kids just start like peeking all over the place. The damsel in the tower. I'm like the the king in the castle. <laughs> Wah wah wee wah, king in the castle, king in the castle, go do this, go do this. Okay, let's go down, let me turn the light on actually. Okay, let's go down, whoa, ah, ah. <laughs> Okay, that was actually faster than I thought it would be. Milady, let down your long hair and I will come rescue you. Oh, I, I shocked myself. This is actually uh, across the street from the elementary school I went to. I was actually uh, the first year I, like of that school when it was first built. I was in third grade. Lady. Okay, I'm gonna go down this slide now. Okay. Uh, that last one was like faster than I thought it would be. I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> you can be brave and you can do it. I'll catch you, go. <laughs> this thing's made you for like element, <laughs> this is made for like elementary school kids. <laughs> Wait, your hair is like. Whoa, I'm a wizard. I'm a hair bender. I'm like Aang. <laughs> Air, air, air bender. <laughs> it's so staticky. Okay, we're doing this slide. <laughs> okay, you got this. We. Well, that's gonna be all for this video. Um, I mentioned before I have friends coming into town from March 10th through March 15th. And actually one of them is going to be coming in on the 9th instead of the 10th. Um, but point being is that there should be some more videos coming up on this channel because of that. 
Um, I think they're all cool with the IRL recording stuff. I think they're all pretty excited for it too. And the people that are coming that you may or may not know from my RuneScape channel or just from like RuneScape Twitter or the game itself, uh, One Puff Wonder, Zach X Ion, Famwell, Corecam. And there's probably gonna be other people too coming to hang out for a little bit here and there for like a day or two at a time. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because it's been like years in the making at this point for all this to meet up. So I'm excited. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again very soon on this channel.